That's right, Tim. The emperor has no clothes. And he's telling everything, everything that he, that he does. He's giving you his mirror image. Listen to him. And I'm going to say it again. And this is where I differ from the media. It's because they keep saying what he can do. Listen to everything that he say he's going to do. No, other people are going to be doing it for him because he was never, ever qualified to be the president of the United States. And nobody called him on it because everybody was running around saying, oh, that's just Trump. No, that's not just Trump. It's not just Trump. This man has a mental illness to the degree of I didn't care if the CDC called him out or the American Psychiatric Association. And that should have been Congress that should have stepped out and said, he, he doesn't qualify. We need assessments because he can't do it. No disrespect to Stevie Wonder, none whatsoever. But that's just like me sitting here expecting Stevie to come pick me up in his car. Stevie can't drive, guys. Stevie is blind. And if you don't understand it yet, just keep watching. Because the magnificent thing about the predecessor is he's going to destroy himself. It doesn't matter about us because we don't exist in his mind anyway. Because every time he walks out, it's always going to be about something else and never the people. And it can never be about the people because he already have that photoshopped in his head. He has the woman of his dreams photoshopped in his head. Well, he doesn't have any policies in his head because have you heard of, have you heard anything that the Republicans are running on except for what? His criminal activity? And I'm still trying to figure out how are all these Christian people upholding him as Mr. Holy Roller? It don't add up because the bottom line is right he's not holy and he doesn't believe in God and I'm still sitting here thinking well every time they want to step out there and say Kamala or Tim did something this guy's a felon and I don't know if you all realize this why does there have to be a debate with somebody that's a felon I, I don't get that why do they're connecting Christianity with the felon. Why are they trying to normalize this behavior? It is not normal. And he should never be front and center. That's what I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding the questions that the media is asking a person to do something that he cannot do. And it seemed like they just won't get it in their head. He cannot be the president of the United States. And he should have been called out a long time ago. But nobody called him out because he was just the person that had no clothes on. And he could do whatever he wanted. And we don't need to normalize this behavior. And people are tired of the emotional vampire. He sucked people dry. Everything about him is draining. It's draining. And Bernie, Bernie Sanders said it. He said, you know what? I think the spell is wearing off. I think the spell is broken. But now that he's in front of uh, all these cameras in real time, and he can be fact-checked in real time, this is devastating to him. I mean, staying up 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning trolling a person? It, sitting up trying to get pictures of a person's crowd size? How's that going to help uh, us on any type of policies when he's just consumed with himself? And that's who he's going to always be consumed with. There is no us. There will never be any us. It's never going to be we the people. It is 
I the nucleus factor. It is I the butt naked king running around doing what he do best. But the media tends to keep not giving him the hardball questions. But if Biden come out there, look how you hammer him down. Look at the questions that you asked him. And here's a man who's aging appropriately. You've had doctors say, validate this man is aging appropriately. And we still haven't seen any diagnostic assessments on his mental capacity or mental c- c- uh, acuity. And we didn't really see any um, information or proof on the bullet wound to his ear. And thank you uh, to MSNBC, Alex, who said to her doctor that gave us information on when you get grazed or uh, how that can affect your brain or your hearing. It's something that needed to be treated immediately. You better believe I looked it up because I wanted to know. And it's going to always be this way with him. It's going to always be all the lies. It's going to always be somebody else taking over. And that's how it's going to always be. There is no we the people. There is no we the policy. There's nobody but one person. And it's an I nucleus factor, and it is the predecessor. So, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for one answer. I'm waiting for a policy to come across. The people that he hired, it gets worse and worse. They're mirror images of himself. And it's going to be the constant belittling, non-stop belittling. Why? Because that's who he is. There's no feelings there. There's no concern for people. And there could never be any concern for people. None. And here's an executive that lack executive function, who cannot organize. I can just go on and on, like Bernie said. I can go on and on about universal health care. I can go on and on about what the predecessor can and cannot do. But keep waiting on it. Keep thinking that. Steve is going to get in his car, and he's going to drive. And no disrespect to Stevie, because Stevie is blind. So when it come, when you figure it out and realize that Donald Trump, the predecessor, cannot function as an executive because he lacks so many skills, then... I guess you'll be fine. I guess you'll say, watch what he does. He can't do anything. Everybody around him is doing it, and everybody's going to jail for it. And the bottom line is, there will be people doing things by proxy all the time. And who's going to run the country? Who's going to run the country? Who's going to run it? A person that cannot do. A person that has, don't have the ability to do it and should have been called out many, many years ago. But what was the saying? Oh, that's just the predecessor. That's what he does. He didn't do it then and he cannot do it now. And if you think he's going to organize if you think he's going to stop lying, if you think he has the ability to put himself in other, uh, another person's shoes, if you think for one minute that he can step down, because we had the insurrection, and give up power, he'll give up power to Putin. He'll put this, this, uh, he'll put this country and hand our country over to him because of, he admires him and other uh, leaders like him. But that's what's so sad about this, because 
every time a news person get on, with the exceptions of the channels that's over on the opposite end of the spectrum, and they're really not on the opposite end, but they're uh, giving it straight, and the exception of uh, MSNBC, it's going to always look, it's going to look one-sided, but it doesn't look one-sided when you have uh, the other channels saying, hey, we putting it out here, we want you to, to see it, this is who he is, we're not, we're going to fact check him, we're going to roll this up, we're going to do it right now, we're going to do it in real time, and that's what the other channels aren't doing, with the exceptions of MSNBC, and sometimes they've gotten a little crazy too, just but Lawrence, I'm with you on that. And Tim, I'm with you on letting, calling him out as the person, the king with no clothes. Because he can walk around butt naked and they'll never question it. <laughs> President o number 44, he couldn't even walk around smoking. His wife couldn't even uh, have a dress on with no sleeves. We accept a set of rules from one person, but we're not accepting the same rules for this person. And one thing that I hope that this administration do, really go in hard on uh, mental health. If people coming in and they need to be uh, uh, diagnosed, uh, assessed, then so be it. Because if Joe, if President Biden had to be looked at several times with doctors and uh, say that, you know, I got to come before these people and explain over and over again while we've not seen one piece of paperwork from the predecessor who's strolling around here uh, giving no solutions and being a constant problem, then something is seriously wrong with this picture. But I'm not going to stay on here. That was just me wanting to chime in and say, even if he did put clothes on, it wouldn't matter. Because, once again, Stevie Wonder cannot see. No disrespect to Stevie. We all know he can't see. And we know, uh, I don't guess he's in Africa driving around, you know, a Bentley or whatever. But look at it that way. The predecessor cannot do this job. He cannot do the job because of all the things that falls under his diagnosis, which they don't have in front of them. Uh, and the doctor he have is not going to put it in front of you. And so uh, good luck on getting an answer. Good luck at getting the truth. Good Get good luck at trying to get anything problem solved because it's just not going to happen. It's not. And that's what an emotional vampire does. They wear you down. And look forward to the behavior escalating because it's going to get worse and worse. And then the grand finale, which I'm going to cut it off because I want you guys to keep watching this behavior. I want you to keep Look close, you're going to see something that you've never seen before, and you're going to realize that he never could do it. He never could do it. No, he could never do it. And, I, and I'm saying it again. I do understand on, a, on the flip side of the chart, the flip side say, watch what he do, not what he say. The opposite end of the spectrum is saying, again, Watch what he say, and watch what everybody else do for him. Okay, maybe I should put it like that. Watch what everyone else do for him. Because, as they say, you can walk the walk, or in reverse, you can talk the talk, but not walk the walk. And that's where he at. Even if you have somebody that was a great orator, like Barack Obama, then... Uh, he could talk it, and he could walk it. But on, on the flip side of the chart, looking at it from the perspective that I'm looking at it from the flip side, they could never do it. They could talk it, 
but they can never walk it. And it's because it's the way his brain is set up. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, we understand over here, because even George Conway had said, if once you learn how uh, the predecessor operate, then you will look at him totally different. Once again, I'm going to close out, and I'm going to say, watch the behavior, because you're going to see something that you will not believe. Just keep watching. Keep watching. And you'll see it. You begin to see it now. But it's going to get worse. It's not going to get any better. It's going to get way, way worse. So on that note, I'm going to close out with the emperor has no clothes on. Uh, and to let you all know, stay safe out there. And keep watching. Just keep watching. And I'm out.